welcome combatants so it seems the storm collectible license is over as a reliable collectible source is detailing it all but do like subscribe with the bell notification and follow me to the future for more content so yes storm collectibles the toys that we love of mortal kombat which go through all of history of mortal kombat and whatnot shout out to me we in the discord for posting this but as you can see right here they go to say as from a source in hong kong the mk license for the games have been suspended for the time being therefore no company including yours truly will make mk game figures in the near future this year 2024 reliable info from hong kong so right there the storm collectibles collector has come out to say that yes it seems that the license for mortal kombat for making their figures for storm collectibles has officially been um suspended for the time being why i do not know what is warner brothers doing now if you guys have never had storm collectibles like me and never got the chance to they have made some great figures the last figures they made were like the mk11 um scorpion sub-zero noob cyber and they were massive big tall figures there wasn't action figures like the other storm collectibles they were huge in size like these are the sizes of the normal figures all the characters and whatnot look and fit the right size that it should be and the way they dress the way how the the toy is made looks fantastic fantastic and amazing they outdid themselves with every single figure that they did and they did quite a lot of them they just didn't give us the katana and melina and jade figure we knew they were working on melina and katana but we hadn't seen jade and we didn't see them finish any of those figures for the girl female fatales or even um people like scarlet but it seems like they are they was doing a lot of things a lot of figures and they made almost every version of the mortal kombat figures they chose certain ones who they believe be better in that certain era look and then others who didn't but we got some pretty amazing figures that looked really good and the fact that they're possibly suspended like this now it's sad it's honestly sad because i would have loved to have been able to get storm collectibles hopefully they go down in price if anything now we do know the last things that they were working on that they showed was the mortal kombat movie as they showed the first look at joe Towsim sub-zero they showed his actual little toy figure before it's properly going to be made and painted on and everything Thing. but then there's been nothing since that showed like a year and a half ago like two years ago it showed and we've seen nothing of that i'm hoping that we do get something from this and we do get them returning back to do the mk figures because no one does it like storm collectibles and mcfarlane is not getting anywhere near how skillful and how great that storm collectibles are but let me know guys what you think of this are you bummed out that they've possibly suspended the license for it or do you feel like it's just something that's been misheard and they are still going to do figures for mk hopefully for mk1 as well but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy heading back to future stay frosty peeps peace